sometimes it does feel like you've got a whole lot of balls up in the air and it gets to be a little bit difficult to juggle if you've got the spouse, you have the children, perhaps you've got homework, you've got work, you've got school, you've got church, all kinds of things going on and it centers around stress. That's what can happen and we want to keep that from getting an overload. We're going to talk today with a gentleman who knows about the, having a few balls in the air and you're going to see why I say that in just a moment. Yo Salter is a licensed mental health counselor with Lakeview Center. Welcome. Thank you. Now, but some of us are used to seeing you on the streets uh, with a lot of balls in the air. Let's talk a little bit about that. We've got some video of you here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a juggling act in motion, yeah, I'm taken to the streets, what I enjoy doing, but it kind of symbolizes what people go through in their life, you know, they have so much going on, and the key is balance, trying to find that balance that you can control. And that's, you know, it's, it's a lot easier said than done, when you do have so many things going on, and a lot of times you feel like you're trying to please everybody and do everything at once, and it becomes a little bit overwhelming. Where do you start the balancing act? Mm -hmm. I think prioritizing, seeing what's important to you. Uh, you don't have to do everything at once, try not to do everything. I'd focus on simple things. Uh, if you value family, spend more time on family. Work maybe second, work maybe first, it depends on the uh, phase of your life. But yeah, put what's important first in your life and kind of don't try to do too much. I would try to just do one thing at a time, focus on growing in different ways, but not all at one time. And is that one of the biggest problems is that we kind of uh, let our minds become too crowded with too many things? Yeah, I think it's a common thing of this age to try to do too much and always kind of connected. Techno technologies change our lives. We're always kind of unconnected. I think we need to unplug every once in a while and kind of simplify. Says the man who did a triathlon juggling. Simplify, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, do what you like and do what you enjoy, but I'm trying not to take on too much in your life. Uh, what about putting some, some fun in there? Most of the things that I mentioned, you know, it, it's things that uh, demand a lot of time and tension and, and again, can, can raise the stress level, but where do we get some fun and enjoyment yeah. in there? That's why I like juggling or exercise. It's fun to me. Going out and running and juggling is the best thing for me, for stress relief. Um, yeah, have fun with whatever you're doing. Whatever lets you laugh, lets you relax. Talking to someone, you can share your feelings in a humorous way with someone. The little things you do with someone else or some little passion or hobby make a huge difference. And don't take it too seriously, you know, even I get a little too serious about my training. you got to lighten up a little bit. And when we talk about lightening up, is it okay that, you know, I, dinner wasn't perfect, uh, you know, the chicken was a little overcooked, uh, that we just stress out over little things that in the big thing of things aren't that important? I think so. You can't be a perfectionist, especially in juggling. I learned quickly I, I'm not going to succeed every time. you got to get used to failing. and I, I think it's good to be out there. And Juggling and running teaches you to be comfortable in your own skin because you're going to get people laughing at you. And you just got to be comfortable with that. So juggling teaches you to accept failure and imperfection. That's a good thing. All right. Pleasure having you. Great. Thanks and for having me. We look forward to seeing you again. We'll be right back.